Right. Um, I'm filming inside our 1966 classic English caravan. It's called Cheltenham Waterbuck. We've owned it for a year and we bought it off of our good friend here, Paul Atkinson, and he owned it for 30 years before us. Yeah. So um, you were just saying, Paul, how much did you pay for this car 30 years ago? <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I bought it for £150. Pounds. £150? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe I got it from Maidstone and uh, I did it all up. I sprayed it all. I paid more to have the upholstery done and um, I got it ready for, I'm trying to think of a year that I took it to West Mallin, Mark II day with my Zodiac. <laughs> and then I towed it on from there to Yeovil, the Oval Show. And then I, I won the concourse show down there with my Zodiac. <laughs> Me and my two kids, because I was a single parent then. I, I, used to, I took them, we used to stay in an in a orchard in Martok after Yeovil and cycle all around the lanes. And I, I had a lot of memories of this caravan, a lot of memories when my two kids were little. They used to sleep here and on this. Yeah, because this is a four berth. Yeah. So um, this is, well, behind us here. That's the sort of the top bunk, <laughs> and here we got. Well, this this ex extends, doesn't it? Yeah. What yeah, you'll yeah, sit little, on. Yeah, little, little, uh, little arrangement here where you can stretch out, but it's more like a child's. Well, it's got it? an extension to yeah. make it longer, and then you bolster it up yeah. with the yeah. cushions that are, that are behind it. Yeah. And then you've got a single bed. Yeah, you've got two and, single uh, beds. And, that, and then there's like a uh -huh. the wardrobe all comes across here and yeah. forms up another room. So you can have like your shaggy, I mean your um, <laughs> your Well it's got a petition here. hasn't it? So you can yeah. petition it off, you open yeah. the wardrobe. But this caravan is all real wood and that's a treat to see. Is, yeah. <laughs> no chipboard yeah. in here. And no, this is Jeff right. and Jeff has just restored it. And we've yeah. got a little bit of work to do inside, just a few Yeah you've got bits a bit of tidying up, a little yeah. bit of wood panelling to I do. I just start it over there, you know that. <laughs> And I had the devil's job trying to match the colour of it again, you know? Yeah, well, it's um, what were the original colour is called ermine white, and we've now had it painted in ermine white. Yeah, with an oak interior and gas lamps. Yeah, oh yes, gas lamps, here they are. Here are the gas lamps. <laughs> I used to like those, I used to like them. Nice Cause primitive gas oh, lamps. Chilly. They warmed it up. Where's the other gas lamp? I've lost it. Over there. Oh, over here. Over there, see? It's that caravan I've lost the gas That's lamp That's why our little window is there, to put a bit more light into the, into the toilet. Oh. So you don't push your in your office. But it's beautifully made the yeah. um, the wardrobes, all the... Oh, quite yeah. stiff. And this opens up again. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, we just show how this, how you get the room divider. Can you do it, Paul? I've forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. So Paul remembers how to do it. Yeah, so that's your rim divider. Comes out here. See? Yeah, so you can make a, a separate little room. Yeah. That's it. Hey, there's Jeff peeping over the top. <laughs> yeah, so that's how you get your privacy. But beautiful wood. Probably a bit, a bit dark to show inside, but you know, they're all lovely um, shelves. And um, they didn't have a fridge. Do you want to close that for us, Paul? Okay. So it had a uh, what's that that cool bo uh, cool cooler thing called Paul that cooler thing it's gone oh, it now. Like a, it was like a water cooled sort yeah, of Yeah, it's uh, like it a worked on a vaporizing a vaporizing. Yeah, like it's, it could obviously in the sixty in the um those days you didn't have fridges. No, no. Well, you didn't. I mean, you used to put stuff in there, or you used to, you used to put it in a bucket. And you put your milk and butter in a bucket. Yeah, <laughs> we did that last year. We we put the um yeah, it works, it we works. put our milk in a bucket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> under the caravan it kept it cool. Well, we yeah. now now we've got a rather modern. We just bought a cool box um, last week, <laughs> which we're plugging into the uh, uh, battery. You got your oven, you oh yes, yeah, sink. yeah, yeah. Go on, yeah. show us the sink. See? Yeah, look, sink. little sink. Isn't that cute? Dinky little sink. Little cupboard in, with pink, uh, pink plastic in there. Yeah, and oh yes, water pump here. Hand, um, hand. Yes, you have to pump your water up by hand. But last week, <laughs> Jeff has got a, a little um, electric water pump. 
which makes it easy. This is our little, little original. This is original, isn't it, mm, Paul? Yeah, our original. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Uh, Color. Double burner with an oven. Well, what's it called? What maker is this? I don't know. Color. Val is it color or Val Color. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's our proper little oven it's here. Super yeah. Yeah, it runs on Calagas. It's the original one from 1966. Nice little oven there. The grill underneath, no eye level grill. But if you want to toast anything, you have to stand on, on your head and uh, things burn very quickly. That's the grill is under there. No electric toasters here, I'm afraid. And um little portaloo. Now you can see how small these caravans are. Jeff is six foot and uh, he can uh, he cannot stand up in his kitchen area. I'm five foot eight, I can't stand up. Here's Jeff. Here's Jeff look, his head is touching the ceiling. <laughs> you show him inside the toilet, this is funny. I mean I'm five foot eight, I cannot stand up in this little toilet. It's only a portolo. Which uh yeah, mini little portaloo there, and um, Jeff goes to show show what it's like. Because I'm trying to tell people, but many years ago people were smaller. And, and uh, here's Jeff, and he's six foot. He's not overly tall, and he he can't stand up in the toilet. <laughs> and you can't you can't get your help, but you can't even move. You cannot even go in the toilet and move your arms. It's so minute. It's designed for uh, an anorexic midget. <laughs> and, uh, Just one little feature. I love the ingenuity of all these these sorts of things, like the double opening wardrobe door to give you room. All the um, doors have got locks on, not for privacy, but just to stop everything flying over when the the caravans being towed. So even things like the door catches are, are quite tight. You know, they, they don't come open very easily. Yeah, open it up just so it shows it, so you can see what it's This is show. cutlery, plates, everything's all very compact, so it all fits in there really, really well. Yeah, so we're a... Uh, and they've got the same again with the wardrobe. We're away camping now, so we make use of every inch of space even on top of the wardrobe. Same with the wardrobe, you've got a catch on the door. And then if you go round to where you've got a, a cupboard unit, again with the same strong catch so it doesn't yeah, fly open. Yeah, And down... But they're beautifully made, I mean solid wood. Oops. There you go, all our little bits are falling out. They're all, it's all beautifully made. And even down to now, down to the drawer unit here. The drawers are made so that they don't just pull out, so they don't just slide out while you're driving along. You actually have to lift them to open them. Um, just little things like that that we probably wouldn't think of when the car or caravan is being towed. It just stops everything flying all over the place. And so this area here is the double bed. So what happens is this table actually folds down, sits on under here, under there. and then these side cushions go in the middle and you've got yourself a double bed. Yeah, they're, not, they're not very long, they're quite, it's a compact double bed. <laughs> a giant size single, I think they're called queen, queen size. It's not... Even so, I, I can barely straighten my legs out, but even so. But even just round the, the, the back bay there, it, it's just a nice detail for the pelmet. Nice wood finish again, three windows in the back, the centre one open, opens outwards as does this side one and the one over there to Ruth's right, they all open sideways. Yeah, it's lovely. And um, so just, just, a, just a few bits to finish off really. Yeah, and, we've got know, some wood panelling to do yeah. around the skylight here. The skylight has been painted, this would have been clear originally but it had got a bit old and a bit jaded. I've gone really nasty, The best it? thing that to do would be to paint it. It does open up as you can see, yeah. just to get a bit more air in. If it does get a bit a bit warm, it opens up the other end and all goes upwards. But it's just just a bit more sort of cosmetic um, wood panelling to finish off. That's the wood panelling is all available, but it's just the the trick of it is to get the um, the correct staining so that it all looks right. So, and underneath all the the seating and bedding area is storage where we keep all the bedding and uh, all the workings of everything like the 
battery power for the lights because it's got a battery for the lights that can be charged from the car and all that sort of stuff. But so it's storage under the. Um, yeah, they all lift up storage yeah. there. But so I'll show you outside a little caravan. We are at um, we're at Nebworth House, when we're on a classic. Um, American Car Weekend. It's called Rally the Giant, so you may, may wonder why we've got an English caravan, but uh, it's towing our, well our car, our American car is towing this. So I'm going to shut the door, show you what, what it looks like. Coming out, Jeff. Oh, hold on, I'll show you it's outside the caravan. just been repainted it in um, white and all brand new window sills and that lovely badge on it. That badge, I love that. Nice little farm sound. All restored. Ermine um, white, it's um, like a creamy white ivory kind of colour really and that's um well that's all the the gas bottles and the water bottles and things like that there you are there's the badge Cheltenham Caravan Company so as I said we're at Nebworth House Rally of the Giants weekend, and uh, this is our 1961 Chrysler New Yorker. We towed the caravan with that. And that's Paul, who I we were just talking to, who owned a caravan for us, and he's camped next door, and he's got a, a teardrop little uh, miniature caravan. Camps out with his girlfriend Caroline. 1959 GMC truck. And we've got our friends Frank and Pat and Hayley and Dave camped out next to us in this Chevy Impala. Oh, okay, right, okay. Chevy Impala and uh, Chevy Nova over there. And that's our friends. Ah, oh, right, Jeff just set up the bunk bed to show you inside what it looks like. Oh, lovely! I haven't even seen this. Okay, right, so it's a four berth, but realistically, uh, well, the top one's only for a, a child. <laughs> I wouldn't want to sleep on that, I'd tell you that for nothing. But it's still a bed, and that, oh, right, Jeff set up the, the lower bunk. And that's not bad size for a single, in fact. No, that's good, yeah, that, that's fine because you've got the two sort of bolster cushions and the panel brought up to extend the length of the bed so now you see how that would be well that looks comfortable doesn't it so now you see it really is a four berth we won't, we won't set the, uh, the the double bed up but I'm sure you can I'm sure you can get an image of what it would look like Oh, thanks for doing that, Jeff. Please, please, so, so <laughs> helpful. <laughs> thanks for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, um, we're here on the Friday, the American Car Weekend, which is, um, really open for the public only on the Sunday, but we've come early. And as you see, we've got a totally empty field around us apart from ourselves and very few other people who are camped out in their American cars at the back of the field you can see there yeah okay so I hope you enjoyed our tour of our caravan so goodbye from Ruth and Jeff and Paul and, and Caroline over there and, and all our friends so um, goodbye and thank you